Here's one of the most common mistakes I see when people are trying to work a molar technique. Don't forget the molar technique was invented when German grip was still basically playing this, not this, which is kind of an in-between American German grip kind of thing that we tend to use now. So the most important aspect that I see getting missed out is that kick out to the side. Because of that, you're returning back to the original position where the molar stroke really, really gets its power from. So make sure that when you're playing, it's not an up and down motion. It has to have that outward kick. It should look like you're mixing cake batter or something like that. You can lead with your elbow. And as the stroke gets smaller or faster, you can bring that motion in. But there's always that whisking motion.